What's up? What's going on everybody? It's a man just rain. Let me start off by saying something real quick. Punjabi music, Bangla music, I love it. It's in my heart. I love it with the passion. Growing up listening to it, I've always listened to it. I still listen to it and I will continue to listen to it. I've grown up playing tabla, you know, I can play tolki, tol. I love it. But there's something these days that happen, I really get a little bit pissed off. Little things, little things here and there that I'm just like, <clears throat> okay. No, I... Please do not. Stupid. That's silly. That's stupid. So I'm gonna leave a list, quick list of the seven things that piss me off about the Punjabi music industry. This is another rant. Hope you guys enjoy. Kick it into gear. Number seven. The computer DJ. These are the DJs that only use a keyboard, mouse, monitor to make all the music. Mixing and mashing two songs together that do not just fit. Like take a hip hop beat, take a Pangra song. Beats never go together. One's louder than the other. In my ear, I don't hear him just saying, oh, I think that's perfect and matches the beautiful harmony. Probably made it in Windows Movie Maker. Hey, you know, the break about it to all their friends. Yo, Ricky, idiot, what are you saying? What are you saying, yo? Yo, check out this mech. <laughs> How is it? Is that in or is that in? Yo, you get mad girls with this chat. Post it everywhere MySpace, Facebook, MSN, BBM, EBM, Friendster, my college book. Yo, blast it up on our team forums, yo. Yo, you know, I can't do it, yo. I got suspended last time I did it. All on our teams are gonna use it to be ill, yo. You blow it up, baby, what up? <laughs> And they'll make 17 of the same type of songs and mash it together and throw out a mixtape. Here you go, here's my mixtape. Stop ruining my old time classics. Number six, Miss Puja. Oh yeah, pretty much. Speaks for itself. Number five, the transformation of the old uncle. Oh boy. Old prestigious renowned singers that were great back in the day, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and now they're making songs that are just like. What? <coughs> It's like a music producer came in and literally told him what to do step okay, by step. Okay, okay. 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 Okay.
gonna have like my mates in the back and they're gonna scream like Punjabi, B, right? 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 So like that's an exclusive track for my fans, you know what I mean? BBC Asian that ain't even got to see it. Let them know what you think about that, mate. Let them know. Bravo, mate. Alright, 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 alright. DJ Tricks and my boy MC Treats will be about to sign out. Peace, yo. Yo, mate, why are you just not showing in the hype, man? Do you honestly think? Do you honestly think that beat was freaking yo, impressive, mate? Yo, I think it's hype, man. You hyped it too much. No, I think it's hype. You but yo, you rap in Birmingham. We're up in Newcastle. Last two weeks, just I was up. Diversify, diversify, UK producer number one. <laughs> Can. Number one tough guy songs. This has been the biggest, probably one of the biggest trends that have been going on. See a lot of these songs set in it. rough alleyways, old factories, abandoned warehouses, junkyards. You got dumpsters, baseball bats, guns, gunzettes. Especially when a lot of these songs are promoting cast, which I think is a little bit silly to be promoting, you know, hey, check out my cast, bro. My cast is better than your cast. So I'm gonna make a song about it to prove how better my cast is than your cast. <laughs> Imagine this one cast, whose name is Hoagie. Let's just say Hoagie cast. 99% of all these tough guy songs made exactly like this. Yo, we chillin' with my boys. You don't wanna make a lot of people come over me. And I say no, we got a lot of guns. Baseball bat, guns in my car, yeah, we chillin'. And we don't want no bunga, cause we gonna shoot you. Yeah, we got a gun in the car, and it's gonna be brought out you. Hey, just letting you guys know that will be part of Paul and Priya's wedding, a live interactive dinner theater going down on April 30th and June 17th, 2011. Check out the info description for more information on how you can get TikTok and the, and the trailer and all that good stuff on the website.com. Okay, bye.